Hello everybody, I'm Andy, welcome back to Broken Age. Here's Valera, and we just sort of dropped in on this, uh, this dude's house. Oh, let's look at this. Ooh, pretty. I like how shiny the sun is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, um, we'll just keep that. Uh, last episode, we were in the Sky Pia. And we met Jack Black, who was, uh, the Light... Lightbeard. Right? What was his name? Lightbeam? Lightbeer? But he's all about the light and cults. But yeah, now we're down here. And this guy seems to be boring up everything. I wonder if, uh, Cho Magath, wherever it is, is up to no good. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? Um, okay, I, I forgive you. I do have feelings, but you didn't hurt them. That old spruce thing. Or maybe, hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? Bella, Bella. Hey, Curtis, sorry, I thought you were a tree. <laughs> what? Um. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. Really? I cut down trees when they're screaming at me. Why are they screaming at you, Curtis? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults. Like, really over-the-line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. Do you Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees, then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? Um... Hold on. She's like, <laughs> Bella's like, hey, you wanna help me kill this giant monster thing we all apparently praise? Okay. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? Uh, oh. No, I fell out of the clouds and crashed into it a little. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Oh, he's, he, he seems cool. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Hmm. A weapon to kill- A weapon to kill Magchathra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about... A nice three-legged stool? <laughs> mm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Okay, I'll get you some wood. Will you help me kill Magchathra? Sorry, conscientious objector. Ah. I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. <gasps> Ooh, <gasps> think I could kill Magchathra <laughs> with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Magchathra. Catch you later, Curtis. She's like, oh, can Where you help trees? me kill Magchathra? Oh, will that help me kill Magchathra? I think I'll use this to kill Magchathra. You're using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay, then. Yoink. Anything else I can grab in here? What's that? I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Someone's ripped the trees out of this painting. <laughs> They're looking at me. <laughs> this guy is like PS PTSD of trees. Okay, let's go this way. Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail... Head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. East. East. Bless this mess. Wait. East? Or was it west? Meh. Uh, what? Oh, he has a nice little home. Let's check if he has any mail. This guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Hmm. Okay, no mail. Hey, it's a tree. I can chop down that tree. Oh, whoa. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm. They don't seem too chatty to me. Curtis is crazy. But a cool kind of crazy. Uh, what? Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. 
It's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. I have a feeling I might regret this. Murderer! Axe psychopath! Right here! Shh, shh, shh. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! Oh. I'm losing oh. Sap. Murderer! <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Mog Chocolate? <laughs> Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. Okay, okay, okay. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. It makes me sick. So the trees in this world talk. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up. But I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. But I want your delicious thick sap. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. Oh, I want to be your friend, tree beard. Uh, hold on. Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. Oh, that's a little rude. Hold on. I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, <laughs> oh. her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He butchered her. Turned her into a... A stool. <laughs> a stool. Oh I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. I need you to throw up. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah. Please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. That is very rude. Never had no one call me rootless stump before. And you put that into my book of insults. Hello? Shell mound. Looks like Mog Chathra hasn't gotten here yet. Oh, we're at the Shell Mound place. And their themes are shells. Of course it is. Oh, oh, wood. Oh, driftwood. So smooth. Okay, now flip it and stick it. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Because you look like a mayor. Because you should be a mayor. Young lady, I like the way you think. <laughs> but alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people for now. <laughs> what? I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Uh... Are you saying I smell bad? Oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. With a hint of fresh pine. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, did, did you say you said... there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea... She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. Don't make it out sand. Um. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. <laughs> so, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, 
But this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. When is Mog Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute! So much to do! Any minute? And you're just try uh, Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Uh... Okay. It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this Oh, oh. Me. Uh, okay. Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Okay. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Seriously, what's with all the sacrificing the cute girls? It's messed up, man. Hi, you maidens getting ready for the maidens' feast? Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <sighs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Uh. Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. <laughs> secret sauce. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. <laughs> nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Hooks. Hooks. Isn't somebody going to miss those hooks? Not as much as they're going to miss us. You're going to make me cry, girl. Oh. Hey, maidens. I'm going to kill Mog Chocolate. <laughs> huh. Not half as hard as I'm going to kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit. Just standing here. Okay, uh, you guys nervous? You maidens nervous? Yeah. Nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chakra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dads donated so much to his campaign. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? That's why I'm wondering. To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. That's messed up, man. I want to be in the Maiden's Feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. See you maidens later. Ciao! Okay, okay, let's take uh, the wood we got. Uh, hold on, let me get these, uh, fishing things. These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been stolen. STOLEN! Okay, go over here. And go to the house. And have him make a stool out of the driftwood. Yes, yes. Hi. Hey, Bella. Yo. Hey, about this art. Yeah? Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. But can I have can it? I have it. No way, man. That thing's vintage. Are you sure? Where'd you Where get it? Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Hmm. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. <laughs> I see it. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Yay. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. I will beware the tree. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age too. 
Okay, uh, let's give him some wood. Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um... Ooh, <laughs> what? That's a relief. <laughs> oh, that's Tell really nice. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Oh, cool. I got a stool, which I'm going to show to uh, the one... First, oh, I can go in here. No, 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 no. Let's go back down. I don't want to be here. Okay, okay. Go down here. Didn't know that just took me straight back to Sky Pia. Do I have to go back to Sky Pia? Go over here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Let's show that tree. Uh, hold on. Let's uh. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree. Is there no end to the humiliation? You are a whiner. Hey, dude, look at this stool. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! Sorry, dude, I need the sap. For some reason. Making it sticky won't make it these two pieces do. I don't think Curtis will miss this. Much. Okay. Let's go. I don't know why I took the thing, Imajig. But I took it. Okay, easy does it. Easy does. What is this? Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. I'm kind of hoping that too. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think Curtis will miss this. Two useless things together do not always make one useful. No, that doesn't need to be any thicker. Okay, or okay, let's go see uh, these two girls' dads or something. What the heck is up here? A sighted stranger approaches. Not so fast. Is that squirt gun? Darn. All out of holy tear gas. <laughs> what? Use the staffs. Oh, yeah. Halt. But the dead eye god sees no one. Dead eye god? Do you mean uh, Cho Who Magoth? You I am Dead Eye Dawn. And this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. <laughs> dead Eye Courtney, okay. Uh, what is this what place? What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Uh, okay, can I go can inside? Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, Aww. sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless. Unless. What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Psh, no problem. Uh. Can okay. Uh, who, who's the Dead Eye God? Who's the Dead Eye God? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. Sky. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Probably. I mean, <laughs> really. 
we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. I need to get in there. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Well. Yeah. Bring us a solution and you may enter the pyramid. Uh, what's the battle of Vulcantol? What's the battle of Vulcantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. Mobs. The end of our entire age. Oh. Hmm. Sounds promising. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Wait, you blinded oh. yourself? If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. Uh... Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Uh... Maybe a refreshing beverage? No thanks. I've got a flask of barnacle juice under this robe. Diet barnacle juice over here. Hun. Hey, can I Maybe get you guys something? Maybe the tear gas. He's out of tear like gas. what? Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah. Here. Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Okay. Uh, bye. bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Oh, what's with the... Okay, it's just the pyramid. I thought the sky was going red. Because of danger. What's that? We have one like that back home. for making upside down cakes. Hey, you taking a break, Clarence? I don't think that yeah, would help the arena get built. Oh, oh, holy tear gas. The chum, the chum, this stuff. We'll fill this with this stuff. Come to me, old chum. I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? No way. I'm not becoming seagull bait. Yeah, not going to become seagull bait. You guys want to see something pretty? That's okay. I already have a mirror. <laughs> it's true. Her mirror is really pretty. <laughs> you guys like art? Um, we are art. <sighs> I want to do this. <laughs> Ugh. Gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. Is this about the feathers we took for our costumes? You can have them back! Now to the right. Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great ow! Great idea! What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally! She has to save whom she can't. Ow! I'll tell Mog Chakra about you, Drusilla. <laughs> okay, so we got a... A stool. Let's give this guy something. Shh. Here she comes again. The solution to the riddle of Yorn is... Perfume! Because you put it in your rotten pits. What about the part with the children? Oh, yeah. You don't really put perfume in your armpits, do you? Do you? Wait. I don't think Curtis will miss this. I have a piece of art here that is the solution to your riddle. Does it have a pit? Or children? Not really. Okay, I retract my statement. Pit or children? I don't think this art needs a crystal element. I have a piece of art here that is the... No, 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 no. Uh, how about this? This pretty window is the solution to the riddle? Are you asking me or telling me? Telling you? <laughs> Stool. It's a stool. This stool is the solution to your riddle. How's that? Well, I mean, you could sit on it while you think of the real answer. Frasm, frasm, no good tasm. Okay, what do I combine this I with think this? Beast Hooker is attractive enough. Oh man, <coughs> the things monsters go for these days. <gasps> I'm stinky, therefore they will smell me. 
The dead eye god sees no one. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Um. Because you guys are guarding it, so it must be cool. Oh, it is extremely cool. But no one enters the dead. Okay, okay, bye, bye, bye. Okay, what's the solution to this dead eye riddle? Wait, I smell. I can join. And they're covered in poop. Uh huh. Let's let, use the perfume again so we can smell stinky. Oh man! Yeah. <laughs> Ick. The things monsters go for these days. Okay, now we'll talk to Doe. Right, we, we have one like that back. Let's cut this ribbon already. You tell them, non maiden. The ribbon is there for your protection. The arena is still under construction. Arena. Okay, can I join it now? Marshal Dune? Mm hmm? I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Oh, my, oh, my. Now that is how you attract a monster. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. <laughs> Truly monstrous. Now, if there only was going to be a Maiden's Feast. Uh... Better let you get back to the feast. No, I want to ask him about the riddle. Hey, do you know the answer to the riddle about the pits and rotten bed? What kind of pits are you talking about? Huh. Not sure. How about now? Is the construction coming along better? Ah, uh, the sand is falling apart. Falling apart! Better let you get back. Falling apart. Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. Oh, hey, Clara, that's a cool whistle. Bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Shh. Let's watch. And it works. Here comes a wave. I can't look. What I tell you? Now that's a sand castle. Looks like we're in business. Awesome. I guess it's showtime. Wait, I'm not ready yet. What? Well, I owe you one, so I can stall for a little while. But hurry back. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm not ready yet. So perfume. Okay, I'm already in it. That's good. So that means something and something. How do I what the, how do I solve this riddle? How do I solve this riddle? These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks. Huh, let me, uh, let me ask her if I can get some you hooks. You made it. Hey, are you guys good with riddles? Of course we are. Except the kind where there are words that have, like, two meanings. Oh, yeah, and you think the word means one thing, but it actually means the other thing? Yeah, I hate those. <laughs> it's not like that, is it? Uh, maybe? Okay, see you see mains you later. Who's later. How, how, what's the solution to this riddle? Maybe Curse will know. Maybe the tree will know. I'll let you get back to your screen. No, I did enough damage to the tree. A okay, curse. Wait, sky. Maybe light beer will know. Hey, Bella. Do you know what rises from a rotten bed? No, but it sounds like one of those fruity riddles my ex-girlfriend Becky was into. Man, I do not miss her. Catch <laughs> you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Okay, I need to figure out this real. Maybe somebody in Sky, uh, Skytopia will know. Oh boy. Uh, hopefully everybody doesn't hate me here. Is anyone down there? Oh crap.
Okay, maybe these guys know about the riddle. Well, I'll see you two later. Do you know about the riddle? Well, I'll let you get. Maybe she knows about the riddle. Hi. Hi. Well. I'll ah, come on! There has to be somebody that knows about the riddle. Maybe that one girl knows about the riddle. Hi. So what's new out here? Are you? Well, I'll leave you alone. Ah, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, okay, okay. Um, am I missing something? Am I doing something wrong? Um, let's get out of here. Okay, this is like the head games again. The helmet. Ah, oh, uh, we need to figure out the riddle. Or something like that. Okay, 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 okay. We can figure this out. It can't be that tough. It can't be that tough. Can we cut this? Let's cut this ribbon. Okay, um they don't know. Let's let's go back up. Maybe a combination of our items will do something. I don't think Curtis will make the stool looks better oh. without it. Um, okay. Could you remind me how? Hold Hi. On. Ron bed. It does have feet. I'll bet I can. I don't think this. The stool looks better without it. That would be a wobbly combination. I don't think that these two pieces do not work well together. This pretty window is the solution. Seriously. I have a piece of art here. <sighs> can um, could you remind? I uh, whatever. Can I go inside? Because it's kind of cold. Can I? I don't, really. Okay, remind oh. me about the riddle. <laughs> Sense you later. What? Uh, no, uh, remind me. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us take down. Take us down. When we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed. Up from a hidden pit long after I the tree. It's the freaking you can tree. See the whole maiden's feast area. It's the tree from the pit. A pit. Fall tree fruit. Ah, oh, it's a tree. Hurry, 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 it's a tree. I have to go to the fruit tree. Oh, that makes so much sense. That's why I can still go back to Sky Pier. Okay, okay, okay. I am smart. I am smart. I am so very smart, smart, smart. Smart the I'm so smart. Smart, 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 smart. Hello? Okay, okay, okay. I'm up here. Now I'll go to this tree, right? Can't reach that spot. Maybe I could find a low hanging branch. Low hanging branch. That's what I'm saying. Give me some fruit. Oh, <gasps> dang. Give me some fruit. Dang. Uh, can we, uh, stool? That's not a good use for a stool. You know, that Curtis looks like... Nah, that doesn't need a new son. Especially... Better not. Okay, let's go down. Maybe we can get some fruit. Is there any fruit down here? Oh, the... The little, the, the nest. Mm, firm and pungent. Okay, we got it. We got the solution. 
firm and pungent, rotting bed, rotting fruit, pit, home, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. I am Andy, and this is Bella, and we are smart when we're together. That's actually pretty good. That's a good rhyme. Take our ladder with our shoes. Okay, okay, we did it! I am smart. Yes, I am. So stupendously smart with Vella by my side. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay, a lot of back and forth. That's what you do in point and clicks. Back and forth. Okay, go this way. Go over here. Uh, you were going so fast. Okay, go over here. And give the dead eyes some pungent flute. Sorry if I'm adjusting if you see or hear like a little sound from now and again. Uh, I was recording all day, so I'm wearing headphones and they're starting to, you know, bug the ears. Shh. Here she comes again. I got the fruit. Check it out. Fruit. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit inside. Oh my god. It's so simple. Why didn't we get that? Oh man. That's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh. Nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> Becky curses go our friend. She thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. <laughs> oh, you two kidsters. Whoa. Whoa. It's that same religious symbol. But this one is recessed, like a socket. So we put this thing in the thing. Oh. <gasps> Why I don't do do. It sounds like space, space things. Uh, man, my mouth tastes like death. Oh, hey, you found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. Um, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Oh yeah, uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. What? I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, Give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Are you the- Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, god. <laughs> Were you really dead? No, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into chrysolation, to tell you the truth. What? What? Did this is what? Um, does, does your... the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that's destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. <gasps> but my ship didn't have any oh. weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Oh. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from Sugar Bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. That's... Oh, oh, that's where we were. Are you... You're not the older version of Shay, are you? So we're What's your standing name? in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm going to need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What's the Laruna? Laruna. That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. What's all this equipment do? 
This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Dandelion? The Runa was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. Aww. Who's we? How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. Hack the ship's uh -huh. controls. You're not Marcus, are you? I mean, Shay. Uh, can this help? Need some stained glass for that pretty mobile on the ceiling? Oh, man. Those weirdos really hung up some crazy stuff, didn't they? I'm gonna have to clean house before I take off. What does this do? Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops. Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Pretty colors. Sorry, I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. Hold on, the, the crystal thing. There. Good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right slot. Yeah. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. We combined this with the stool. There, it's back. Safe and sound. I hope you put it in the right socket. Other Wait, otherwise what? Hey, Hold put on. that laser coil back. The top socket is... Hold on, what did he just say? There, it's back. Safe and sound. I hope you put it in the right socket. Otherwise, the scanning beam could overheat. On second thought... Hey, put that laser coil... Hold on. Overheat? Hey, what are you doing? I found a replacement for your quartz thing. Maybe, but you put it in the wrong socket. You get that order wrong and you'll melt us down into a sad little puddle. Or we can make a laser beam. Nailed it. What have you done? Laser uh, beam. Fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful weaponized... Laser beam? Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! <laughs> death ray. Making the death ray. And I told Becky, you're so ugly. I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> okay. The targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Okay. Oh, chicken! Okay, shut it down. Clarence, was that you? Knock it off! <laughs> Just use quick bursts or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from steel bunting, I'm sure you're not going to need it. <laughs> so steel bunting was before cake, whatever the name was. A baker bunting. Something bunting. Sweet bunting. Ready when you are, Marshall. Oh, I'm going laser beam uh, Kogma Garth Rock. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! You know what to do, girls. Mod Mod It sounds like Mothra. Just with a GCH. Mothra. Laser beam. Why is it so ugly and why are we. No! Laser beam! Over here. I'm here. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. It's 
Charging back up. Okay, okay, we gotta dodge. This is like a boss battle. Yeah, you recognize me, don't you? Yeah, he does not like us. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. I have to hit him in his eye. I think. Maybe. I'm here. Okay. It's time, Alex. Ah, oh, bullseye. Oh, he's not happy with us. He's so creepy. So very creepy. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. I was trying to shoot the eye. Just run back Alex, and forth. Get that laser ready. Am I supposed to shoot him in his mouth? Ah, even his eyes? Okay, that means I got an idea. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. Tentacles? Take the shot. Nailed it. Okay, I'm supposed to shoot the tentacles. Gotcha. Yeah, one tentacle down. Just a few more to go. Ready, hit him. Nice. Now this is what I'm talking about. Finally, not just being a sacrifice. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. I missed. Malarkey. For, so, for some sort of like destructive god or whatever. It's time, Alex. It's pretty slow. Fire away. Ooh, sounds like that hurt. Oh, is he moving faster now? Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. What? He's dodging it. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. Oh, open your stupid mouth. I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. I'd like to shove this thing in my... Why am I still carrying this heavy thing? They're too small to do much. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex! Ah, nice! Really? Hit it! Just a slap on the wrist. Do it! Ooh, sounds like that hurt. Okay. Why is he attacking us? Because he's stupid, yeah. I got you. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. Hit him. Just a slap on the wrist. Okay, so we're doing this again. He must have a no, I need to find a more vulnerable spot. His mouth! No, no good! His mouth is closed! Hit it, dead eye god! Okay, maybe it's I'm just getting caught. That's what's going on. I'm getting caught on the last one. Over here, you nasty get ready to fire that! Take the shot! Maybe gotcha. that's it. Okay, 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 okay. Go over here. Get ready to fuck hit him. That's Just two. A slap on the wrist. Am I missing something? Am I supposed to be shooting something other than him? Follow me. Get ready to fire. Do it. Gotcha. No, 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 no. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. Oh, come on. 
Okay, okay, okay. Back and forth, back and forth. These snake maneuvers. Yeah, you recognize me, don't you? Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. Ah, come on. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. Oh, can't see. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. Okay, okay, I got an idea. Blind it, then shoot it. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. No good. We need to wait. Hey, 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 let it cool down, Vela. But this whole mountain is gonna melt down. Right. Sorry, 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 Over sorry. Over here, you nasty old dumpling. Okay, okay. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. Come on, you stupid hey, death hey, ray. Hey, let it cool down, Vela. This whole mountain <sighs> I, is gonna I just want to shoot him. Right. One tasty maiden over here. Okay, maybe it's uh we lead him over here. You're just a big fat floating lump. Then lead him back over here. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. When I cut you open, I don't think I'm getting to hurry up and recharge already. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. How am I supposed to hit him? Am I missing something? Get ready to fire that thing, Alex! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex! Dang it. Okay, okay, okay. There has to be something I'm missing. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex! Hit it, Jedi God! Hold still! Now! How do I get it to hold still? Okay, I got. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. Oh come on! Open your mouth. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. Take the shot. Okay, I got a different idea. Okay, why don't we just stand here and let it grab us? My hands are stuck. I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. Okay, uh, alright, so we can't... We can't, uh... Be like that. Get ready seems. to fire that thing and hit it. Nailed it. Get ready to fire that. Take the shot. Gotcha. So it's three, and we let grab us. Get ready to fire that now. Oh yeah. Get ready to fire that thing, Alex. What? Hit it. Crack. Now, no good. Even his eyes are armor plated. Open your mouth. Okay, maybe we just got to wait. You're too small to do much. <gasps> Short things can surprise you. Ha! Whoa! Awesome! Get ready to fire that thing, Alex! Oh! 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 Die, you monster. Die quick, or we're gonna have a meltdown up here. Do we do it? Holy crap, do we do it? I'm like a freaking Amazon. If he turns out to be like a good guy, 
I'll be super angry. Wait, what? 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 So, our ship, the p creatures we were gathering, what? We were Mog Giraffe? What? Oh, no! No! You can't leave me there! You can't leave me there! Tim Shaver? When's Broken Age Jack 2 coming? Is this... It's in the game, right? What's going on? What? 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 Tim Shafey, you tricky devil! Ah, uh, squeaky chair. So... No, 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 I, I did not see that coming. We were in space. In cha- in... Sha- uh... We were... What? Hey, hey, okay. Okay. Featuring the voice sounds as... Hold on, where's uh... That one dude. That one dude. Who did... Ah, I missed it. He he was uh, the voice of uh, the Weaver and Mr. Smooth. Ah, guys, that was that was a very good twist. I did not see that coming. So when we were being attacked in by another vessel, no, where was our spaceship sh suit? I... I... I don't know what's going on. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm definitely going to play Act 2 with that kind of cliffhanger. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Playtesters. Iron Flower. That's a cool name. Flower. Special thanks to. Are was this like a Kickstar? Oh yeah. Everyone at Double Fine Productions. Oh man. I can't believe that kind of twist. <sighs> Boy. Copyright 2014. When did this game come out? Was it, was it January or was it? Feels like it was later, th earlier than January. Backers. I guess this game was kickstarted. Rest of the backers and slackers that made this happen. Awesome. Well, I'm going to investigate this act too, everybody. Thank you for watching. Jeez, that was something. That was... Boom! To my head! Bye-bye, everybody. And thank you for watching.